let's get started, shall we? Yes. All right. I think we have everything set up. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, so we ended up uh, bringing just a normal everyday package to the bar, the, the, the dock worker. I'll fear my light one second. There we go. So it's time to, you know, again, everything's totally normal. We're just fishing. Boat's a little zippier with that weird heart thing. Ready to get some skates. Great. Um, I already messed up. Man, I got excited for getting a trophy. Yeah, I really messed that up pretty bad. Well, that's good. That's all we can carry. Can't get that. Let's go pick up this bottle here. All right. Do, 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 do. And come back to Foghorn. I think we're pretty good. Uh, at this point, we'll probably... Oh, there's another bottle over there. We'll grab that whenever we're fishing over there. Let's see. I got room for some little fish. Anything little I can get right now? Let's see. Can I get this? Okay. Yeah, there we go. Let's we'll get some of this. Oh, well, that depleted fast. What we got back there? Well, let's keep rolling and see what we can find. So yeah, back into the streaming and the YouTubing and all that jazz. It's uh, it's good. It's good, is there? Trying to find things to keep ourselves busy. Now, what is glowing right here? What is that? <clears throat> the lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intricate power of the structure. Intrinsic power. Intrinsic. There we go. Power of the structure. A vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin? Its purpose exhausted. The lighthouse towers above. Well, indeed... Of that existential concern. Let us return. I'm gonna get a little panicky here. Uh, again, Aurora Borealis, totally normal. Not an oddity at all. Dock up. Uh, the fishmonger. Some fish prefer deeper water, while others stick to the shallows. If you're looking for something specific, it's important to know what you're working with. Great. Um, I guess I still need to go work on uh, getting some stuff done for him. So what do we got the ship right? We have no damage. Uh, right now we can do shallow and coastal. We have room for another small engine. I don't know if there's any small engines. There are not. So that gets us 10 knots. What do, what do we have installed right now? 14. So we're going to leave the peculiar alone. That one's fine. Um, we could buy a light. I suppose a light is useful. And I think that saved my money for now. As we try to work our way towards rods, that might be better. Uh, where we want to fish. In the meantime... Remember, you don't have to have all the materials. This is her. Remember, you don't have all the materials at once. You can store whatever you have right here at the dry dock. <clears throat> and we're looking for all sorts of stuff. Which I've unlocked to get to the new hall, which would be really nice. Alright, so we have nothing for there. Um, I don't think there's anything we want here. Um, we're going to start reading that book. We can look at our encyclopedia. Uh, no, not encyclopedia. We want to look at our messages. We had a slight accident yesterday. 
Around the shallows at the back of the Great Amara, a rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around, and a few items fell overboard to the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. Well, what we're going to do is just rest till the morning and go on again to another totally normal fishing day. Something's going on with my light. My green screen being funky. Let's see if we can fix this real quick. Can I see you, green screen? Look at the giant face. Giant face! Let's see if we can fix this filter. Alright, filters. Roma key. Ooh, too much. We'll just slowly bump up smoothness. We'll bump back down on that because my headphones are being funky. And maybe we'll just change the color a little bit. Go a little more. And now I'm invisible. That didn't work. Ah well, we'll let it be for now. We'll mess with it later. We're getting back into streaming. No one's gonna care. And if you care, let me know. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine, guys. We're okay. But you know, we'll do, we'll do this. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. That was... Drop my head a little lower. How's that? That's a little, that's a little better. A little less distracting. All right. And we're gonna go fishing. And let's see what we can pull up here in the lovely, beautiful day between the two towns. Uh, we got a boat here. We got some 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 nice little quad or what do we got? Mackerel. Mackerel's always nice. It's small. It's fast to fish up. Okay. Again, we can't dredge anything, so we're gonna we're gonna slide right over all that mess. Actually, we'll take some eels. Ooh. Eels, I'm always trying to get them on the first pass. So I always mess them up too. There we go. What do we got here? More of that mackerel. Yeah. See, so far everything's delightful. It's all just fish for days. I mean, I feel pretty accomplished as a as a fisherman here. And more supplies. We'll get those later. Let's go grab this bottle. Excellent. Well, let's see what that says. Okay, we got our map here between the marrows. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want to ill fortune to fall on the vessel. You want to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches. It's a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket, half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. I said, sweet, so we're getting like a diary of sorts. Which, you know, totally not weird to keep your diary as individual letters in a, in a bottle. That's absolutely a thing most people do. So when something awful happens to you or your ship, someone can find them and, and read the merriment. Again, nothing to be scared of. Just a normal day mission. Hey, we finally got trophy. Okay, we're going to put you right here. Park you there. So you're just making money. Fishing is money, friends. Beautiful. Nice day. It's interesting. I don't often look down. I like this angle here. You have the horizon. 
just a just a lovely day out here in the Marrows. The Marrows? The Marrows. The Yeah, I'm gonna go Marrows. Drive our little boat. Bring it inland. Just to go see the beauty that is this town. But yeah, so streaming, getting back into it, getting back into videos, having a real good time. Really enjoying it. And um Hopefully we'll get back for a while now. Well, at least until I leave. I'm leaving for a couple weeks of summer. So I'm very excited. I'm going to go to Italy for the first time overseas. So stoked to do that. All right, let's see here. Got no fish for that order? Yes. Leave well, whatever you have here. Uh, no, I don't. In fact, I wanted that last time, but I think I sold all my flounder. So I lied to you. Um. Oh, he gave me a book. Excellent. Well, let's sell all the fish. Um, I don't know if I can make it to the flounder in time. I think there's some flounder up here. But we'll see if we can go grab a flounder before night kicks over, because I feel like all the fish change as the weather changes. Wasn't there, like, a flounder somewhere over here? Yep, we just switched to night. Which is okay. I'm not said about night. I just need... Is this the flounder? Maybe this is it. Let's see. Uh, no, it's a grouper. But we'll take some grouper. You know, we're fishing a little bit into the night, but I think we'll rest at the marrows over here. Just take a rest at little marrow. And uh, just sleep through the day here. Or the night. Sleep through and just have some fun. Beautiful. Alright, it's time to go. And see if we can find that flounder. Oh, there we go. That looks like it's flounder. Yeah, there we go. What the hell is that? A sprawling, jellied mass spills from a single eye socket. What appears to be dark pupil is, in fact, the center of an egg. Oh, golly. I don't like that. Um. Yep, that, that's, the, that's, the, that's the tweet. That's the headline. I do not like that, Sam I am. Well, let's go turn this in for the pursuit. And, uh, ooh, that was the top for the best. Let me come park it up over here. How's my reading going? Oh, that's kind of well. Can you switch books? Oh, you can. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Let's take a rest. And sell some fish. Any fish for that order? Yes. Leave whatever you have here. All right, so we'll just take care of that. That's bucks. What would you be pleased with these? Got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid in a whole black grouper. Not so many people fish the squid these days. They only feed at night. Fine. Well, you know what the nights are like around here. Good luck. Uh, yes, I think I do have a black grouper. So we can get that locked up. All right, come back. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Mm. Ah, now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Mm. I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll uh, give you this thing and pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. Hey, well, if you find more. Once beautiful handkerchief drawn on the insides of the grotesque fish patterned with delicate crimson thread. All right. And we will set all, all the fish. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. 
I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect. Not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Get out of this bay, cut south. We have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. And the man disappears. Well. I'm not one to, you know, skirt an honest day's work, so... Let's go see what this fellow wants. I mean, maybe there's good money in uh, fished up handkerchiefs. Perhaps that is all we need to um, secure our own fortunes. Besides, it's a Friday. It's always a good day just to kind of putz along, isn't it? Isn't it? I hope. Let us park. And we'll see what the match wants. The man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson, with silver ribbons. You came, good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. You have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. Patterns are unmistakable, even after all this time. This handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. Carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them has been proven to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dock at depth. Find me these lost relics, and I'll reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make necessary alterations. What do you say? Well, of course I accept. Excellent decision. Now prepare the equipment immediately. Well, great. I'll mess with my boat. I need to go find him a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. Let's ground towns, look for shipwrecks, other strange occurrences. And return when I got some. I love it. Oh, this is exciting, because now I can dredge. And I think I saw like a whole bunch of supplies I need to go pick up. Right? I mean... That's what we need to make our boat better. Isn't that the, the deal? And it's four o'clock, so we'll just grab some stuff from here. What do we got here? We got a ring, maybe it looks like. Oh, I finished reading a book. Everything's coming up, roses. Uh, let's see here. We'll go to my cabin and start reading the next one. What did that do? Oh, I get back to the cabin. Nope. Let's try down. Nope. There we go. That gave me. Oh, nice. 10% chance not to. Lose fish. Um, that collector dude said he buys gizmos and gadgets, right? I can go get him some gizmos and gadgets. Gizmos and gadgets are plenty. Who's it's and what's it's galore. Oh, and I need some squid anyway. Oh, God. Tentacles spout from a glowing cores I jealous sack. Other cores like dormant alongside. Gross. Oh, there's another boat out there. Should go find them at some point. What? Ah! Tasting tongues wreathe wildly around instead of yellowed crooked teeth. The top rows are flattened, like human molars. Hardly anything we're excited about. Right? We're not excited about this? I'm not excited about this. Excellent. Well, oh, grieving father. Hello. Is everything okay? Yes. You see my. Let's see. What's his? What's his voice? Huh? He's grieving. So he's sad. Oh yes. But is he? He's a stoic fisherman type, right? So he's not really, really bawling. So. 
yes, yes, she, my only son was lost at sea some, some years ago. He's still out there, somewhere, in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. Oh, he is gone. I wonder. I notice you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I'd feel more at peace if his memories were... mementos were with me. He wore bronze belt buckles, specially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd give you a debt. Anything else? Uh, I told you all I know. Well, I don't get out a lot. I don't see. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry over and over. Begging anyone who would listen. Howling it to the wind. These days I almost feel like I understand. All right. We better go. So he wants a belt buckle. Don't think I found a belt buckle, right? That's just an old ring. We'll sell it. We go to full. And uh, we'll sleep. I don't know if it's a good idea to sleep because I don't know how fresh my fish will be, but they'll, they'll last a night or two, right? I mean, let's go turn them in. I don't grab any like dredging stuff. We can dredge. Oh, wait, how much room do we have? Yeah, we have plenty of room. Let's see what we got here. So if I know anything, it's always hard to find wood, right? So there we go. Beautiful. Oh wow, it's real hard to find it. Completed after one. Oh, maybe we'll go on a little bit of a dredging expedition uh, today. I'll turn these fish in and then turn right back out for some dredging. I think that will probably be the best bet. That's what we'll do. While we're here, though, we should pick up some fish. Gotta make that money, right? Oh, that was a little, a little bet. Come in here, and we'll go ahead and look her up. Beautiful. So let's first go to the fishmonger. Any fish for that order? Yes. Leave what you have here. And we'll get these two squid put in. And good money. Didn't hmm. think you had an idiot. Night fish is a tall order. I'm meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Grab pots. Got one here for you, in fact. Bit hanged up. Stick the ship right. Pretty straightforward. Drop it out to sea. Come back after the day to check on it. Customer to a fiddler crab and a common crab. All right, yeah, we'll buy some more because crab pots are just free money. Uh, you just gotta, you know, they take a little maintenance. I think I'm gonna buy all of his crab pots and just check them every day or two. So we'll, we'll make that money back and uh, not, have, not have a worry in the world. Uh, let's go to the shipwright. Looks like some of your equipment can use some fixing. We can repair here. All right, so we repair all. Beautiful. I forgot to actually sell everything, so we go back to Fishmonger. Excellent. Dry dock. Remember, you don't need it all. All right, so what I think I want is more engine spaces, or do I want more rod spaces? First. Maybe more rod. And we can change our minds, so we'll just put the rod down for the wood down here for now. That's fine. And everyone wants to talk to me, so let's go talk to some people. <gasps> what is it? She eyes you suspiciously. Mm. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries and wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow. Rising from that patch of dark water, I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Hmm. 
See a lot from up here, you know. I saw the ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched the flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your face. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is this just another of the fog's tricks? That's... he's... it's painful. Some nights I still think I can hear the hum of his engines sailing past the bay. But I know he's gone, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Well, we'll leave her be. And who is the Builder? You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? It's got to be a damn sight better this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back? Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? We should always keep moving forward. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Can you help me move? I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber. Two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place. Just stack it up at Steel Point. Alright, so we'll get some paid. We'll help her out. And I think that's good. So what we're going to do here, we're going to drop some grab pots real quick. Oop, not that. There we go. Do a nice little circle of crab pots. Beautiful. And we'll come back to them later. And we'll go out to that island she wants to go to. And we'll see what happens there next time. Thanks for hanging out. And I remember, everything's normal. Everything's fine. There is no monster in the bay. We'll see you next time. Bye.